Um, so back to B2B today, um, after the, the consumer presentation. So I'm the founder and CEO of NoviCap. We are building the operating system for working capital. Silicon Valley is coming. This has been around for a couple of years now, right? Jamie Dimon of, of GP Morgan. Um, and I think since uh, you know, the last five, six years, this uh, trend only has increased. Right? So everything from digitization, fintech, you know, the whole trend is continuing. If we look at the next 10 years that we believe um, will happen in fintech, right? so financial services and technology, if we break it down, we see a couple of trends there which we believe are very relevant. So first of all, on the finance side, right, so the finance in, in fintech, um, we see that banks struggle more and more to make their unit economics work. Very often this is because of a lack of technology. So it's very hard for them to make certain segments profitable, and we see continuously banks either consolidating or trying to acquire new services to, to make that work. Um, secondly, and this is actually also one of the most important aspects that we are continuously monitoring, is that the, um, the behavior or let's say the mentality towards um, alternative finance, alternative uh, or fintech services is changing a lot. So consumers but also businesses are increasingly open to uh, make use of, uh, of alternatives, of, of fintech services, fintech lenders, which we believe is a very important um, move. Um, which also will accelerate further this, this whole fintech revolution. And thirdly, and this is more on the funding side of, of, of this world, we're living in a, in a very low, even negative um, interest world, right? There's a no bond uh, world pretty much, which means that there's a lot of capital seeking for yields, and where can you find yields today? Alternative finance may well be the, the, the place to seek those. Then more on the tech side, one of the areas which um, is enabling this whole trend is the whole digitization of, of trade finance. Right? So this goes back to ERPs, accounts payable automation, electronic invoicing, you name it, and potentially even blockchain, which allows us to capture those invoices and finance those invoices more, more, more easily. Um, secondly, also the customer experience obsession. We've, uh, I think, learned a lot from Amazon, right? Um, putting the customer first is something which I think fintechs are doing much better than the, the more traditional players, which is starting to pay off. And then thirdly also we see that more and more fintechs are collaborating with more you know, traditional players like, like banks, and uh, they're in a very good position to, to take advantage of that. So how is this going to play out um, for the working capital um, industry or working capital finance uh, space? Is that today there's about 40 trillion in uh, receivables outstanding at any given time, so globally. Right? So 40 trillion of trade receivables between B2B companies. Only 5% of this is currently captured. So that's a very small percentage. And by extending the offering, the working capital finance offering, both in a wider spectrum of suppliers, so not only typically the short tail of suppliers in a supply chain, but also the long tail, and at the same time capturing invoices quicker and more rapidly via the digitization of ERPs, uh, accounts, pay, uh, accounts um, uh, payables, automation systems, and so on, you capture much more of those invoices. The time frame over which you can finance those receivables increases a lot. And so we're seeing that market grow about 10x in the next 10 years, and we will want to, of course, take, take, a, take a piece of that. Um, so how do, we, how do we solve that, or how, what is our offering? Is that we're the first fully digital, right? So it's a fully digital offering. Um, Customer-centric, so we really put the customer first. And also cost-efficient um, working capital finance solution. We work both on the receivables and the payables finance side. So on the receivables finance side, we believe that um, it is particularly relevant for companies to know whether they're eligible to get working capital, to get uh, invoice finance. So we believe that it's very important for the customer to know on a real-time basis to get a risk-based pricing. So it means that any customer via our platform can get a credit limit, an advance rate on their invoices, and also a cost on, a, on, on the spot, so on, on a real-time basis. And this is happening without any human interaction. And so I think right now in Europe, we're the only player which, uh, which is currently doing this. Um, we're very quick, because if you're an SME, and you have to pay out your, your employees, you need to make a payroll, you need to pay your taxes, your VAT. It is very important for the company to, um, to get the funding quickly. 
So we believe disbursements uh, should be happening very quickly. So 24 hours is for us very important. And in contrary to, to banks, we believe it's very important to provide flexibility to finance the invoices that are required uh, for, for funding, rather than fun funding all your invoices. On the payable side, we, um, we provide a very nimble, a very agile uh, system to deploy, which captures the full supply chain and also provides attractive returns to, uh, to the corporate. Moreover, um, we believe it's very important to build financial technology with an impact. So if we, yeah, one second. Um, <laughs> if we look at the, the impact we're having on the, the financial industry today, we're having impact on thousands of SMEs. We have more than 1,500 SME and uh, corporate clients. We've accelerated more than 2.5 million in days outstanding. And we are supporting indirectly about 52,000 um, employees.